criminals are having a field day in your community. Take a look at what this young lady did after getting out of her moving vehicle and just letting it ghost ride the whip. There she goes. And if you're just listening, she decided, I don't want to drive this car anymore. Kept it in drive, send it down the avenue. And into oncoming traffic. And it looked a little something like that. Luckily, the car didn't kill anyone that time. But this is common now. Some people are saying after looking into it that, well, she stole the car. It wasn't even hers anyway. So she got out of it and let it go. And other people say, uh, you know, that I'm a little too harsh when I say that was assault with a deadly weapon to all oncoming traffic. Whether she was successful or not is besides the point. But BLM will say she had a mental issue. She was going through a tough time and it's not her fault. The police need to stand down in that situation. Now, we're going to compare that to what else is going on. That's like a passive crime. Here is active crime. Two BLMers decide Amazon has all the gifts they need for this Christmas. They just have to get the driver out of the truck. Take a look. Now, this Amazon driver is being attacked. He doesn't know what's going on. They've opened the door. He decides to plow through the traffic. These two are pretty upset. They didn't get what they wanted. They jump back in the car. So I want you to pay attention. Both of those situations, you might need to protect yourself. You need to be off your phone and watching the road around you. I'm telling this to myself as well because you never know what's going on in these roads. It used to just be, oh, look out for a pedestrian, a bicyclist. Now you got to look out for what they did. They parked the white car in front of the Amazon and then someone got out. As soon as someone gets out of a car, you better put your car in reverse or drive and think, do, am I going to have to, you know, rob somebody, kill someone? What am I going to have to do? Because what they've been doing lately is like someone will rear end you. You get out of your car to look at the damage, and they've already got the gun on you. So you might just drive to the nearest police station and say, I was rear-ended. It's just a car. It might cost you $5,000. Better to pay it than get robbed at point-blank range. I'm going to ask you over here, what was your favorite or least favorite video there? Is it ghost riding the whip, letting it flow into traffic, or is it Amazon delivery theft? I'll tell you what, if these people keep stealing from the Amazon truck, and from Walgreens and Walmart, pretty soon, they're gonna have to do all their shoplifting online. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that very short clip, but I want you to check out the full episode. So here's what you need to do. Drink a vault, focus, and then click subscribe.